One of the things I heard for years and still do hear mm -hmm. when, when defending Edward Snowden is, well, look, if, if you're so sure that he acted heroically, mm -hmm. why doesn't he come back and try and convince a jury of his peers that that's true instead of staying hiding? Now, you referenced earlier what, uh, what you said is your view that Julian would never get a fair trial mm -hmm. in the U.S. either because they're charging him under a 100-year law mm -hmm. that was enacted mm -hmm. in 1917, the Espionage Act, to criminalize dissent against World War I and mm -hmm. is written in order to assure prosecution, mm -hmm. but the same law they're charging Snowden with. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, what are the reasons you believe when people say, well, why doesn't Julian just come out of that hole in Ecuador or in the Ecuadorian embassy or now agree to be extradited if he's if he's so clearly right he'll be acquitted why why is that untrue why won't he get a fair trial well look at look at the venue just for that matter you called the, the to be judged by his peers so, you know the the, the the venue is the eastern district of Virginia the court the, what they call the spy court and for, for what reason 80 percent of the jury pool is actually drawn from people who have either direct or indirect through you know uh, uh, one link, a family member, a close associate who works for these agencies who have an, an interest in the case. So it's absolutely impossible to get a fair trial just on that simple basis. And we have 10 more arguments to, to pile on top of that. You know, the, the, the breach of the, the, the uh, attorney-client privileges, the stealing of the legal documents, the spying of of, of the meetings that Julian had with his lawyers when Will Steve was in the Ecuadorian embassy uh, 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 conducted by the CIA under, under Mike Pompeo. Uh, the plot to assassinate uh, or kidnap him that has been exposed now a year ago in September. By a very Yahoo credible News. reporter, Mike Isakoff. Um, ba based on 30 sources, named and unnamed, nobody has, has claimed credibly that this is not a reliable report uh, very, very, very solid reporters, and actually, in a in a in a very spectacular manner, uh, Mike Pompeo, former director of CIA, actually confirmed the story in a way by not denying the authenticity of it or saying this is all this is all uh, BS. It's, it's simply not true. No, he went the other way. He said we need to get the sources of the story and put them on trial for for, for breach and confidentiality. Well, thank you, Mike Pompeo. You just confirmed the authenticity of the story by doing that. So. And, and on we can go about the, uh, the, the impossibility uh, of, uh, of him getting a fair trial, uh, including with all the, the outspoken uh, uh, condemnation of him by political leaders, by everybody in, in society. Uh, how are you going to get an impartial uh, 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 jury together to, to, to take the case on? And, and let's not forget the other thing. Uh, he is going to be put on, on pre-trial uh, detention in the US uh, which can last for two, three years, that period. Uh, who will decide and can decide the condition in which he is held in the pre-trial period? That is the CIA. They can demand that he is put in solitary confinement through the entire time. 